Greetings from Snake Mountain Boatworks on Monday, July 18, 2022. Well, our lab rat survived being wrapped in plastic, soaked with water over and over again, and the moisture content is still very, very high. Now I'll hand it off to Joe so he can talk to you about what he's doing next and how he's doing it. Yeah, so right now I'm going through on all, every plank on each seam where when it swelled up, it pushed out some of the 5200. So now I'm taking a razor blade and anywhere where it's proud, I'm just going along and cutting it back. Being 5200, it is a little tricky to get it started. See, so the way I figured is you kind of got to start it at an angle. So that way it kind of comes up nice and even and that way you're not digging into the wood. But once you do that, it gets nice and flat and we don't have any more of it because this will show up in the paint. So anywhere where you can hit a nail on it, that's where you're going to want to cut it. And it's really nice afterwards and it's nice and flat. And after this, she'll be getting bathed in clear penetrating epoxy sealer, followed by five coats of 2000E um, going from gray to white. And uh, from there, she'll be getting five coats of the, I believe it's going to be the red, red bit bottom paint for this one, I believe. On That's right. Yeah. Uh, perfection. Perfection. But like I said, it can be kind of tricky. Of course, this being the first one we're doing, this kind of sets it on how we're going to be doing it because it really does make a huge difference. All of these seams are so much tighter than what they were. So as long as I can get it all cut and sealed right off, we shouldn't have any problem. But moisture content still 20, 25% oh, this least. morning. Yeah. And of course, with it being so humid in the shop too, it kind of helps it out. Yeah, the humidity outside is right now, um, I just checked the weather, it's 86% uh, and if you walk outside, it's almost as if you need a knife to, to make any progress. So it's pretty much like that in here, too. So, Joe, keep trimming. And we'll be back to you for the next update on our 1948, 19 and a half foot Truscott barrel back deluxe runabout. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.